Welcome to another edition of Heart to Heart Talk. My name is Bjorn Heimstad, and I have my beloved son, Daniel, with me uh, today. How can God heal? This is the subject, healing. Everybody needs healing at some point in their life. It can be a physical healing. Your body is having problems, or it can be a spiritual healing or it can be a mental healing, psychological healing. We, we are also going to mention healing in relationships. Maybe you need, your marriage need a healing. Maybe you, you need healing in the, in the relationship between you and your, your children or other relatives. Uh, there are so many areas that needs healing. And to some point, we all, all of us need it. Maybe we need healing in the church, in the mosque in our religious um, fellowship, uh, or we may need financial healing. I mean, if, you're, if your finances are, are on the sick bed, you are really struggling, but there is healing from God on every area of life. So this is what me and Daniel are going to talk to you about, and we're going to pray for you today. Hope you take time to listen and write where you are listening from. You're so much welcome. And this is uh, this is a very exciting topic to talk about. And uh, you know, this is this is what we have experienced in our own life. I've experienced it in in my life that the the God that I believe in and and the God that I read about in the Bible, He's not distant. He's not you know He's not far away. He is close to my heart, and uh, and and I can bring up these different areas where I need healing. When you mentioned you know it could be physical, financial, emotional, psychological, all of these things, I, I experienced that God is close to me and he cares about me. And, uh, and I've, I've ex- we see this when we read the stories about Jesus, that people that came to him, not once did he say that he, he, he wasn't going to heal them. People that came with different illnesses and, and, and uh, evil spirits that were bothering them or their children, when they come to Jesus, his response is always to heal. And, and it, it, the Bible tells us that um, once you've seen Jesus, you've seen the Father, God the Father. So this is, a, this is a very interesting and powerful topic to talk about. And I have to say, I've experienced this myself, praying for people that some that have had nightmares during the night, you know, bad dreams. I don't believe God sends these things. We've prayed for the power uh, and the protection that is in the name of Jesus. And these nightmares have to stop. And we've seen healings take place in people's bodies, physical healings. So this is, um, this is a very exciting and powerful thing that we believe is available for us uh, through Jesus. Yeah, and like you said, uh, believing in God uh, is, is wonderful. But to have a relationship with God, to not only... A God that you believe in, but a God that believes in you, talks to you, you can talk to him. And there is a connection. Jesus came to connect people with God. So um, Jesus said, because we have many, many uh, opinions and understandings of God, uh, pictures of God. Uh, But Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen God. And and, uh, and talking about healing. Uh, some people in our Christianity, they believe that uh, God even can put sickness on people, make people sick. Well, that is contradicting what Jesus said, because Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the heart of God. This is, I am, a, I am a, an, an utterance. I am, an, I am exposing God to humankind. And I read in the Bible, I never see Jesus made somebody who was, he was well sick. Jesus never put sicknesses on people. Jesus never made, made rich people broke. Jesus never created problems in a, in a, in a well-established marriage. But, but Jesus came to heal relationships, heal physical illnesses. And, and, uh, and also when I read the, read the Quran, uh, I see that the Quran speaks highly of Jesus, speaks highly of the miracles Jesus performed, oh, and, and this is exactly what the angel, what the Gospels also are telling about. Yes, it's very, it's very, it's very uh, interesting, and, and, and reading these things, these accounts about Jesus, it shows us something about 
God's heart for each and every one of us. And, and even when you say, when you talk about relationship, you know, there's this phrase that I've heard many times, and sometimes you hear a phrase so many times you get used to it, but God is not looking for a, a religion. He's looking for a, a relationship. And, and I think Jesus shows us this again and again in the Gospels. It's, it's, uh, it's not about the rules that you're living by. It's not about the, the, the rules that you have to, uh, to do in order to receive. It's about relationship. And, and Jesus does this again and again when it comes to healing. It's that a lot of times uh, if people have a need, he, he first goes to their heart. You know, the, the woman at the well, there is a story about a, a woman that Jesus met where he actually talks about her, her sin, but he doesn't do it in a, in a way to condemn her. He, he talks about it and addresses it in order to set her free from her sin. So this, every time people meet Jesus, you know, he's, I, I think it's very, very clear. And I experienced this in my own life as well, that it's, it's about a heart to heart connection. Yeah, to know God in your heart, to have peace with God in your heart. Oh, that is so precious. Yes. Wow. Can I ask you something? When, yeah. when we talk about healing, like how can you receive healing? Because obviously we believe that God heals people today. Uh, through his son Jesus but how can you how can you receive healing that is a question but can I can I give you some examples first so so we are not just talking about a subject like uh, like uh, like in school this is not <laughs> a school as such but um, I was in, in in Pakistan a country I love so much I spent a lot of time in Pakistan being all over Pakistan so the Pakistani people are my my good friends uh, we, we went somewhere to preach um, and to share the, the, the angel, the gospel. And uh, there was a big stadium. We had 400 police officers who took care of the security. When we prayed for the sick or, or during that, that week, um, there was, it was so hot. It was a daytime. It was like 45 degrees uh, Celsius. Um, and in the evening, it was also hot. It was not, not a, a, a cloud in the sky. The night and day, not a drop of rain. But the police officer, the, the, the police in charge, he said several times he had seen lightning coming upon the crowd. The first girl who was healed, she had tumors all around her neck. And then she held her hand there when we prayed for her in the name of Jesus. Um, she opened her eyes and she saw, uh, she saw a light surrounded her from above not from the not the stage light but a light that light that came from heaven came upon her and surrounded her when we prayed and said amen that means the prayer is finished she she took her hands away and she checked all the tumors were gone a miracle a healing miracle because god loved that 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 young girl so much Another place, there was a doctor, a medical doctor. He, had, he was blind for 10 years, one eye. When he took his hand away after prayer, we, because we ask people, if you are sick, if you are blind, lay your hands there. And wherever you are suffering, lay your hand there. When he removed his hand from the blind eye, the blind eye began to see again. Takes me to, um, takes me to Sudan. I never forget that, that, that day or those days, one boy was, was, was blind. He was six years old, but the last three years he had been blind. God healed him, but it was late at night. So we told the mother to bring the, bring the son the next day so we could hear what God had done in his life. Then the mother said, I brought my boy home. He has not slept the whole night. He has been playing with his toys because he could see for the first time in three years. That day, God did another miracle. It was, a, it was a, an infant baby. I, 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 would, I would guess the baby was eight, nine, ten months old. That baby was born blind. That day, the mother came after prayer and said, my baby can see. And we asked her, how do you know your baby can see? Because the, the baby's eye followed the movements had never happened before. When people heard that testimony, 
testimony of the blind baby and the blind baby. I, I went there and the blind baby's eyes were, were, were moving. It was easy to look, uh, look at me because of, of the white skin. So the baby's eye were moving where I was moving. Could see. It's the miracles of Jesus. That day, two brothers born blind. One was, one was 11. The other was eight, nine years old. They both were healed. I'm talking about one, one, one place, four or five uh, children could, could see again because the miracles of Jesus. It's Can I give you one more example? The man in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, he had not walked for 28 years. When we were singing and praising Jesus, loving God, uh, the power of God came upon him and he stood up to walk for the first time in, 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 in 28 years. And he was, I, I, know, I don't know if you have seen a newborn calf. Have you? Yes. I saw just a few, few, month, few months ago in Africa. The, the calf, the cow had given birth to a calf. And the calf was walking for the first time on stumbling legs. But, but as he, the calf started to continue to walk, more and more strength came, came into those legs and he could walk freely. The same happened with this man in Tanzania, in Dar es Salaam. When I was preaching, sharing the testimony of the gospel, the man walked, 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 just like a calf. And, and, and he, he could walk. And that night, two elderly lady paralyzed, could walk, and three young children who was also born paralyzed, never walked in their life, lives before. One was about to be sent to London, England for, upper, for surgery. They, they were all walking. What a wonderful night. So we are talking about not what, what, what we have read in, in a book or somebody else has told us. We, have, we are sharing what we have seen and heard. First-hand experience. You had a question. Yes, uh, very powerful testimonies, and 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 these are encouraging to us because we I believe that if God has done it before, He can do it again. Uh, but uh, we we also want to pray for people that are watching this. Uh, that's part of this. We're we're not only talking about it, but we're, we've experienced it. But we also want to want to pray for people for healing. But uh, but before we do that, quickly, uh, can you just talk a little bit about? How, how do you receive healing? Is there something you have to do? Is it difficult? What's your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that is, first of all, don't stress. Just relax. Be, be, be hungry for God. Be hungry because you have to, you have to reach out from your, from your heart. You have to reach out. You can't just have a, have a, have a uh, don't care set of mindset uh, around it. But, but relax. When you relax and, and leave it to God to touch you, you will see something happen. Another thing, which is very important, I call this the master key for miracles, the master key for healing. The key's name is forgiveness. When you forgive, that creates an atmosphere in your inner world, in your, in, in your, in your spirit, in your mind, that opens up for healing and miracles. And I would... I, I have seen this happen so many times when people start to forgive. Forgiving is not accepting. When you forgive those who have stolen from you, those who have lied about you, those who have, who have abused you, you, that's the best gift you can give to yourself. Just release it and forgive it. Doesn't mean you are, are supposed to have any relationship with those people again. That may never happen, but you set yourself free. With unforgiveness, bitterness, hate is like a factory within you that creates a lot of problems. Mind, if in your mind, in your environment, in your family, and also in your body. So that is my advice. So thank you for listening. And no, I want us to pray. This is a beautiful concept. Forgive, forgive those who have offended you as God has forgiven you. You can also forgive, and that opens your life to receive miracles from God. Yes. Shall we pray? Let's pray. So, Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every one that are watching this, uh, this broadcast and this video right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you know every situation. There is no one that is too far away from you. There is no situation that is too complicated for you. You know each and every situation and you know the people that are watching this and that are going to watch this. 
and you know the needs that they have, if it's physical healing or mental healing, emotional healing in the heart, whatever it is right now, we pray in your name, Jesus, your wonderful name, Jesus, we pray that your healing power will flow right now into this person's life and set them free in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. Right now, God is touching you. Something is happening. You can feel it in your body. Something is, is, is taking place in your body. Please let us know what God has done. Write in the comments or as, as um, uh, in, in Messenger. Uh, says, give us a feedback. And also write where you are listening from. Thank you for your time. And please follow me on BJ Hamster so we can share our faith and, 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 and what we believe in the future.